Here we are in the Neighborhood Improvement Zone, where a lot of people have complained that there isn't enough effort being made to advance opportunities into the neighborhood. I think uh, that's something that we're helping to make happen. Um, we're big believers in the NIS and look forward to the benefits accruing to the uh, goodwill and benefit of the people in the neighborhood especially the businesses. At the center of this effort is the Community Action Development Corporation of Allentown. It has mobilized our neighborhood partnership program to bring about corporate donors and over a hundred volunteers. Its annual budget is over a half a million dollars. Another key partner to this effort has been the City of Allentown. Upside Allentown has been committed to improve facades, bring about police presence on our streets, stimulate neighborhood-based um, arts, create jobs for the local residents, and more importantly, to work hand-in-hand -hand with the Allentown School District to bring about and improve educational opportunities. This is a real exciting period in Allentown, and we encourage you not to be left out. Instead, come join us. Good to see you. Hi, Thanks for Alan. coming it's to talk to us. It's always inspiration to see you. I am Murad Güzel, owner of the Natural Food Group. I am part of the campaign to empower the girls and balance the power dynamic between the boys and the girls. The project is called She, as in the She Has Everything, and is designed to help the girls to stand up the pressure and to avoid making lifelong mistakes. We have mobilized the talented staff and the volunteers at the Fountain Hill Elementary School and donors and many others to help the girls to make smart decisions without peer pressure. Those decisions will put them on track to ensure they have everything to a productive, healthy and happy future. I'm a firm believer of the philosophy that saving one person is like saving the whole world. Uh, you know, the Lehigh Valley, by and large, is actually a small area in terms of land um, uh, coverage. But there are 630,000 people in these two counties, which means that our neighborhoods are pretty dense. And you still have some suburbs and the rural area, which I call the soon-to-be suburbs. Um, but within this region is a diversity of people, uh, problems, marketplaces. And uh, you know, as CACLV has looked at ways to address issues. Some of those problems are common to all of those communities. Uh, others have unique issues. Allentown has a particularly challenged um, uh, downtown neighborhood area with uh, uh, inventory of housing stock that is substantially uh, substandard. Uh, Easton has issues related to the fact that it's right across the river from New York and New Jersey whose affordable housing program is called Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Janelle Connolly with Pinardo Borough Council. The Slate Belt is mobilizing thanks in part to our access to resources, contacts, and expertise of our friends at the Community Action Committee of the Lehigh Valley. The boroughs of Pinardo, Bangor, Portland, and Wingap continue to collaborate to take advantage of the first time ever multi-municipal neighborhood partnership program. Thanks in part to some amazing companies that we believe we have a plan in place to bring more economic opportunity, a better tax base, a greater sense of community, and an improved quality of life for all of us in this late belt. My name is Neil Coplin, Regional President of People's Security Bank and Trust and President of the Board of Directors of the Lehigh Valley Community Land Trust, a subsidiary of Community Action Committee for the Lehigh Valley. I believe the land trust could do for affordable housing what LVIP has done for economic development. To date, we have built or rehabbed 35 homes while looking to do much bigger things. By mobilizing resources to build a new 36 unit community for working families and low income families. 
that will create wealth, stabilize a neighborhood, and improve our tax base. Good, morning, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for your volunteer well, leadership. It's good Let's to be go. here. Hello, my name is Tony Muir. I have the privilege of serving as the chair of the advisory board for Second Harvest. We are dedicated to the principle that everyone should know where their next meal is coming from. Last year, we distributed more than 9 million pounds of food to 65,000 people per month in the six county area that we serve. You might ask, how were we able to do that? In part because we were able to mobilize hundreds of very generous supporters as a result of which we were able to purchase a large 65,000 square foot warehouse. This warehouse will enable us to provide not only more food to more people, but just as importantly to provide nutritious and fresh foods in larger amounts. For CACLV and Second Harvest, this is what we are all about creating a never-ending circle of caring for others. Thank you for your support. You know, what this community can expect of CACLV is a driven, almost obsessed intention of making this community as good as it can be. There are a lot of good people in this community, and as a community, we can be better, and we know that there are plenty of people that want to be part of that effort. So join us as we mobilize.